In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to use the lens flare effect in Adobe Premiere. Lens flare is basically the reflection of the light which is scattered by passing through different sources of light. For example, when the camera is diagonally angled against hard light. It is generally produced by shooting against the sun, or high voltage halogen bulbs. With that said, you can also digitally create a lens flare effect in your clip using Adobe Premiere. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using this clip over here. Notice that in this particular shot, the sun is setting, but the effect is not created. Here we will be creating the lens flare effect. So to get started, let's move to the effects tab and type lens flare in the search box. From the search results, simply drag and drop that effect to the video layer. Notice now that the clip is showing a static lens flare effect. To configure it, move to the effect control panel and click on the lens flare option. Now you can drag the effect on the screen and place it on the actual source of light. Over here, we will place it on the sun towards the top left side of the screen. The flare brightness option over here lets you configure how much light is to be produced. For this particular scene, we will input 80 for the value. You can adjust the value according to the clip you are working with. With that done, click on the drop down menu next to lens type and make sure the 50 to 300 millimeter zoom option is selected. This is the most widely used option, but you can also switch it to 35 millimeter prime or 105 millimeter prime depending on the focal length of the lenses used while shooting. Next, we will configure the blend with original option to 60%. This will soften up the flare effect a bit. Now let's preview the video. Here you can see that the effect is not animated and instead stays within the same place. We want the flare to move together with the original light source. Therefore, we will move to the flare center section and click on the toggle animation option. Here we will animate the effect only on the Y axis since the sun is setting. So let's move at the end of the sequence and drag the effect downwards on the original source of light like so. Now if we move backwards in the timeline, you can see that the effect has been automatically animated on the Y axis. So let's render the sequence and preview the results. And there you have it, a perfectly animated lens flare effect added to the clip in Adobe Premiere. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.